Hey guys, welcome back to the recap, the video podcast of First Baptist Kettering, where we discuss topics such as our vision, our values, and our sermons from week to week. The recap exists to help us be transformed by Jesus. So with that, let's get started. Hey guys, listen, I wanted to take a minute. Uh, thank you for, for joining us for this week's edition, a short edition of the recap. I've got Stephanie and Landis here at the table with me, and they're, you're going to hear a passion for the Next Generation ministry as we look to this coming Sunday and hear messages at both our Eastmont and our Sugar Creek campuses about the Next Generation ministry, our vision for Next Generation ministry, and how we equip parents to train up their children and their students. So we walk alongside them, encouraging them, giving them resources and tools, and celebrating major milestones in their lives. Our passion as a church is to see the Next Generation developed into fully formed disciples who are sent on mission, Regardless of, of when that happens, we're committed to that. We invest a lot of resources and time there. So I hope you enjoy this edition, this early edition of a recap. Hey, church family, gathered around the table with uh, Stephanie and Landis and talking about this vision for the next generation. Why do we have such a strong desire for the next generation ministry that, that overarches between the kids and the student ministry? So that's why they're at the table with me today. And really, when we think about next generation ministry, it really has everything to do with our acknowledgement of what the Bible teaches, that it is the, the family's responsibility to train up a child, to disciple a child in the home introduce them to Christ, and walk with them as they grow in their relationship with Christ. And it's our job to come alongside them with resources and tools. But we also have some things to share with you today that will bring some more uh, impact to what we do, maybe hopefully answer some questions for all of us. And then why do we focus so much on that? So I want to start with Steph. Steph, you have a, a jar of marbles there on the table for all of us to see, and it's got 936 marbles. Why is that important for us? Well... This jar has 936 marbles, and it's for every week until the child turns 18. So it's kind of just a, a symbol, or it's right in your face to let you know that this is how much time you have mm -hmm. left mm -hmm. with your baby or your elementary child or whoever. Your high school student. Your high school, <laughs> right. you only have a few more weeks left maybe or something. So it's a great visual for mm -hmm. parents and for um, church leaders. So I've heard some folks take the marbles out of that jar and put it into another jar and give it to their child at graduation. Like this is yeah. the time that we spent with you. Now it's your turn to do the same thing for your child, maybe pass it down. But yeah. it symbolizes something, um, the importance of the every urgency <laughs> of every week that we have with our kids, whether it's at home or at the church. To, to teach, to train, to disciple the next generation. So when we think of how we do that here at FBK with our, our Next Gen Ministry, we have seven milestones that we, that we have propped up. But those milestones are really to reinforce a principle that we discussed yesterday, yeah. getting ready for this video. Now, what the church is about, the church is about relationships. First, it's a relationship with Christ. And then uh, how we grow in that relationship with Christ is, is done interdependently with each other in relationship together as we walk with Jesus, right? So our next-gen ministry wants to introduce kids to faith in Christ, welcome families in, and acknowledge their, their responsibility in that process, and then grow in a relationship with them as we parent kids together, right? I've heard it takes a village. It's not an original statement, but it takes the body of Christ— Right. So that the body of Christ grows. So when you think about milestones and the importance of relationship, how does that look in the kids' ministry? Well, in the kids' ministry, the very first one is the dedication of homes. So, you know, that's where we start introducing all the milestones. It's a big presentation. It's probably our biggest one in the beginning because we have a lot to say and a lot mm -hmm. to share, mm -hmm. a lot of things to look forward to for our child. So, and it's just inviting the family, the whole family, to be dedicated to the Lord. And then we get to walk alongside of them and watch them be transformed by Jesus. Mm -hmm. So, and that's just to start, the kickoff, the very first part of our Bookend, I guess. And it doesn't say. matter what age. No, it can. It's the whole family. It's the whole so, family yeah. coming in together to do it. Some families have done it multiple times. Yeah. As they've had, which yeah. is fine. Yeah. And we've had families uh, uh, show up and join us as as uh, faith family members, and they say we want to be a part of this, but they have some older kids too, so they're welcome so to be a cool part of that. So it's cool because that's where we start a relationship. Right. So that's where I connect them with mentors at mm -hmm. our church, older families who mm -hmm. have been through what they are already going through. Mm -hmm. So they can connect and build relationships there. So someone to call when yeah. they're, they're struggling through a parenting thing. Or, Absolutely. You know, my kid just lost his first tooth. How do I handle that? Or driving. Or driving. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> 
So Landis, we, we talk about the kids ministry. So carrying those relationships through the church, how do we, how do we reinforce that or, or try to strengthen that in the student ministry? What is one that stands out to you? Yeah, talking about our milestones in student ministry, we technically have four of them, mm -hmm. but the one that, that I love the most is our last one, and that's dedication to maturity. Mm -hmm. So you have this big idea where the whole family unit, they've partnered together with the church, and they have invested and equipped that family and that student for 18 years. Mm -hmm. and you have the whole church together with mm -hmm. that child, with that student, and now they've completed high school. We're sending them out into college, into the workforce, right? It's a mm -hmm. brand new stage of life. And we get to celebrate that it's really a victory for the entire church mm -hmm. that we've partnered together, we've equipped and we've empowered that student to go out, live on mission and make disciples wherever God takes them. Right. It's a huge victory for us. So, so I love, love that milestone. So disciple making starts at home. Absolutely. And is reinforced and accompanied by the church. We also have family experiences that you can participate in that are not part of the milestones or something you can do at home with your families. But all of these things exist because we have a, a desire to reach the next generation and, and involve families and make disciples. But there's also a sense of urgency. Yeah, yeah. for sure. So I know that Landis and I both feel this mm -hmm. when they're young and when they're growing, that they're, we don't have a lot of time, hence the marbles. Mm -hmm. So we need to really act now um, alongside our parents to yeah. really encourage them and love them through difficulties and victories, like you said, of being a parent. Mm -hmm. right. So and we know what that feels like. All of us are parents, but that's part of our relationships and then the urgency of our right. jobs that we love so much doing. Right. And we can't just leave it for Sunday only. No. Mm -hmm. We get 52 times with our, <laughs> our kids that each year. That sounds so mm -hmm. little. I know. That's the equivalent of what? A little more than like two days I know. of influence yeah. over the course of a year. Yeah. So if we're just committed to church and church only, and we're thinking that the church is going to disciple our kids, mm -hmm. we'll, we'll, we'll never get there. Yeah. Yeah. We need to come alongside our parents. For so sure. we, so this, this acknowledges the truth that their, their voices are the loudest in, in their oh, kids' lives. They absolutely. know them better. Yeah. Right? So the better we know the families and engage with them together, collectively, you know, my family, yeah. I know your family, yeah. other folks know our families. As we engage with those families and we encourage a walk with Christ, those voices begin discipling their kids in the home, and now we're working together. That's the vision for the next generation we have as a church. I uh, hope you have a great Sunday.